Well, good evening. It has been a very active, stormy day for all of mid-Michigan. We've seen passing rain and thunderstorms, some of which have reached severe status. Now we're seeing calming conditions. Still a few overhead, though. Let's have a look at our radar. And we do have some rain and thunderstorms, or rather we had some throughout the afternoon, some sort of on and off. And then we had the stronger storms move across after about 1 or 2 in the afternoon. Now we're officially seeing the end. This is the line of thunderstorms that is still overhead. But as soon as it passes, we're in the clear. Lansing, already there. In fact, I'm looking out the windows, maybe seeing a couple peaks of sunshine. I would not be surprised if there's a rainbow photo to be found somewhere this evening. But a closer look, we do still have a strong thunderstorm moving over Hillsdale area as we speak. It is not severe, but I would not be surprised to see a couple spots reporting pea-sized hail, strong gusty winds, of course, plenty of heavy rain and lightning. A little bit longer, probably less than 30 minutes, and this will be out of your hair. It will be then moving towards Adrian, and all of which will be gone within maybe an hour or two max. The severe thunderstorm watch continues for Jackson, Hillsdale counties, as well as Lenaway, Washtenaw, Livingston, further east, officially through 8 p.m., but it's already expiring for our western counties. As soon as that line passes, the watch is over and done with for the rest of the night. Temperatures? Highs reached much warmer in our southern half, mid-70s, but only up to 66 for high today in Lansing. Now still hovering in the 60s, but we're starting to see the cooler temperatures work in steadily as winds have shifted, kind of breezy at times out of the west and northwest. Again, we're getting behind the cold front now, so we're getting cooler from here to tonight in the next couple of days. So there it is again, a large cluster of scattered rain and thunderstorms, some of which have been severe across Indiana, but once this line passes, we're not seeing a whole lot behind it. Clouds will linger, but there is drier weather in our very near future. So storms ending at the top of your weather headlines. Cooler temperatures for tonight through about Saturday before we start to warm up again. And a dry weekend. Yeah, clouds will linger, but we'll see dry weather. No rain expected after tonight. In your forecast, there's your cold front overhead. It's moving east and taking the storms with it. This model still keeps a chance for rain later this evening. If we see anything, it'll be sparse and light. Nothing strong expected from here. Later on tonight, the clouds will linger, yes, but really I'm not expecting any more rain. Same goes for Friday. Cloud cover lingers, but seeing a few peaks of sunshine by tomorrow afternoon, and then by Friday night, I think a lot of the clouds will slowly start to dissipate further into Saturday's forecast. So here's Saturday morning, a few lingering clouds, but look at Saturday afternoon. Those su the sunshine really takes over. So it's going to be a very nice, pleasant Saturday afternoon. It'll help to push up our temperatures at least a little bit, but going to be highs in the 50s. And then Sunday also looking like, looking like a dry, mostly sunny day. Temperatures cooler, low 50s to upper 50s between Friday and Saturday, below average and much cooler than the last few days for us, but 60s return by Sunday and Monday of this upcoming week. Tonight, Low is about 44 degrees. Any rain you're seeing will be ending pretty shortly. Mostly cloudy skies overnight. Tomorrow, highs around 51 degrees. Mostly cloudy, a few peaks of sun in the afternoon, but a much cooler day with that breezy northwest wind. And the seven-day forecast, dry weather Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday. Seeing some sunshine in the mix, too. We get cooler, though, the next couple of days. Our next real chance with thunderstorms, probably next Wednesday or Thursday, maybe late Tuesday night. But this is going to be a nice dry spell to help us kind of dry out. We've had a lot of that rainfall today, Sarah. Only spot still seeing strong thunderstorms is Hillsdale as we speak.